Hi folks, today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use Microsoft Mesh Virtual Wi-Fi to turn your laptop into either a Wi-Fi hotspot or a Wi-Fi extender, depending on how you want to use it. Right, let's get into it. First of all, what you want to do is you want to open up your browser and you want to search for Microsoft Research Virtual Wi-Fi. You'll then get this page here, Microsoft Research Virtual Wi-Fi. You click on it. Load. and you simply download it and install it. I've already done that so I'm going to skip this part. You will also need to download the on.bat and off.bat files, they'll be included in the description. There they are here. Now once you've got these and you've installed Microsoft Virtual Mesh, what you want to do is with on.bat right click it and click edit. Now you've got here this setting here. The only things you want to be changing are the SSID which I've got its test net just now and the key which I've currently set to internet just for test purposes okay these are the only two things you test you change that's basically your Wi-Fi name and that's your Wi-Fi password once you're finished you click file and save then just close it and then when you want to run it you simply right click on on.bat and click run as administrator click yes now if I come down my connections I've got a wired connection and I'm identifying another connection as well which is my other connection, my Microsoft Virtual Mesh Wi-Fi. Now what I want to do is press start and go to connections, oh sorry, connections, and I want to, where are we, view my network connections, two seconds, view network connections. Now I've got this one here, Microsoft Wireless Network, eh, when, Wireless Network 5, sorry, it's Microsoft Virtual Wi-Fi Mini Port. That is the one you've got for your Wi-Fi hotspot. Now, if you want to share your ether incoming Ethernet connection over Wi-Fi, you'd go to your local area connection, simply right-click it, go to Properties, Sharing, allow other network users to connect to this computer's internet connection, and select Wireless Network Connection 5. Click OK. That would then, once it does that, that's now the sharing enabled. There you go, you can see there that says testnet, that's my SSID, and if I scroll over here, it tells me testnet internet access, and BT, BT, which is my own internet, internet access. Okay, now, if I go into here and change, take the sharing off on this one just now, say you wanted to connect to a network via Wi-Fi and share it via Wi-Fi, you can do that as well. That's basically using it as a Wi-Fi extender. All you need to do is do the same thing with your wireless network connection. Mine isn't connected just now, but you simply do the same thing with the wireless net connection and uh, wireless connection 5 or whatever your shows up as. But whatever one is Microsoft Virtual Wi Fi Mini Port Adapter is the one you'll want to use. So that's basically just a quick video on how to use Microsoft Virtual Mesh Wi Fi to either extend your Wi Fi range or to use your ethernet connection as a Wi-Fi hotspot. Thanks for watching, leave a like, rate and subscribe and let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like me to do. Thank you, bye.